This is not the scenario I want to be in. There's so much on the line. The car has no points. The weather, it could rain. We're not in the show. Wayne Gretzky says you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, so I don't care what people say or think or anything like that, so let's go down there and give it a shot. This is not the scenario I want to be in. I've put myself in this scenario so many times in the last three years where I'm with a lower budget team, with a car that has no points, a last minute deal gets put together, and then something crazy happens at the track, either a motor blows or the throttle sticking or the car just didn't have enough time to be prepared at the shop and it didn't have the speed it needed, and then we don't make the show. I know that it's not Natalie's favorite scenario. 10 days before the race, find out that we're gonna go race Daytona, especially at Daytona. Uh, car with no points, it's just a little more stressful. There's a lot to get done. Shame on us or shame on me because we probably should have had this stuff done in early January with just getting seats recertified and all the little stuff that goes with starting the season, especially with a new team. We're pulling into Hendrick Motorsports because that's where my carbon fiber tub, my seat that I use when I race, is made. And I had to get it recertified so that the SFI rating and everything legal-wise with NASCAR was good to go and legal for when we go and race at Daytona. They finished it for me in one day, so they rushed it for us since this is like a last-minute deal. We dropped it off yesterday and we're already picking it up today, so usually it takes about a week but they did it so fast for us. The Daytona qualifying, I would say 98% of it is the car. The race off of pit road, going through the gears, is all the driver can control. And obviously being smooth does help as well, but the car needs to be fast, there needs to be a good motor. But like, if it rains, we're not in. 475 of them I have to find. Hey. Are you working on something for Daytona? Um, kind of. I'm signing all of my Panini cards. They just came in the mail. And oh. once you get them, you have to have them signed and sent back out by a certain date. Or else they get... Oh, let me see if it's one that I approve. I know. I was just reading it and I'm like, who approved this one? Also, I have a zit under my nose. You should have got that airbrush. I would have, but you know, I need bifocals. I love it. You got the arthritis mm -hmm. foundation, race suit on. That's perfect. Anyways, there's like over 500 like sheets of little stickers I have to sign and cards. Oh, I never knew you did it that way. Yeah. I thought you just signed right on the card. They do it both ways. Okay. So you got, so you got the golf cart all situated. Yes. So when our Arthritis Foundation guests come, we'll be able to bring them around the track and make it easy for them. Today I went to the shop and dropped my seat off. Okay. So I'll be able to get fitted in the car very soon in the next couple of days. They're really rushing, trying to get all this stuff done in the next few days so I can get fitted before it goes back down to Florida. I am so impressed with the DGM. Like they're, they they're, are doing their best to give you the yeah. fastest car that they can provide. You know, I was like thinking today on the drive home after the shop, I was like, I already feel like this is a really good home for me. And I haven't even like met a lot of these people face to face yet. So like so many things are so stressful but they're making me feel so comfortable and I feel like they're putting in a lot of effort to make me feel like that the car is gonna be the best it can be. Well, and we just found out yesterday that we're getting the least motor. So we weren't gonna have a least motor until yesterday and that's why the car is coming up here to Charlotte. So that should help out a lot because we were gonna go to Daytona with a B motor and then that would have been really difficult to qualify it in the show. So now we have a little bit of a better chance. There's so much out of our control. I know. So and what is your formula that a Dr. Jack taught you? A plus B equals R. Wait, grab my phone. I have to show you. Yesterday was the year, like two years ago, however many years ago that was that I got fifth. Yesterday was the day I posted it. And it came as your... It came as like a memory. yesterday? Yeah, no. Oh my gosh. We have a brand new sponsor coming into the sport, Amp Fitness, and their gym is right next to the Speedway, which is really cool. This partnership I'm really excited about. And 
I just want to show them the best time at a racetrack to where they're just as addicted to racing as we are because once you go and experience it, there's nothing like it. My first initial conversation with the team was is they didn't have enough time to get that engine. So we were going with the B motor and then all of a sudden just the other day, they get a call, they can get the motor from Hendrick Motorsports and boom, we have a leased engine. I'm excited for that, but here's the thing. If it rains, all of that goes to shit. We're not in the show. So all of this work, all of this effort that the team's putting in, that I'm putting in to go to Daytona and try to qualify in on time, it could easily rain and everything's over. This is the Wawa show car that we'll be bringing to do our appearance at the Wawa right across from Daytona. She's beautiful. We had to recertify almost all of my gear. Everything had to get a rush order put on it. It was so expensive. I had to get my NASCAR physical done. I had to get my drug test done. All of these things in order to get my NASCAR license this season. And then on top of that, photo shoots, getting the press release out, everybody's quote, Zoom calls with all of my new partners starting off this season. Just so many things. And all of this has been happening in the last two days. I'm sweating. <laughs> I am literally soaking in sweat just talking about it right now. I'm so nervous. There's so much on the line. Oh, there's just so much. <laughs> there's so much.